what is lanthanide contraction we know that when we move from left to right in the periodic table the size of the atom keeps on decreasing here the steady decrease in the sizes in the lanthanides as we move from left to right is known as lanthanide contraction now why this happens here when we move from left to right for each increase in atomic number there is a subsequent increase in the number of protons but the electrons are entering the inner penultimate f orbitals you know f orbitals are having a complicated structure which is having very poor shielding effect due to which we find that as we move from left to right with unit increase in atomic number the nuclear charge is increasing but the electrons are entering the f orbitals f orbitals are having poor shielding effect with the result the new growing nucleus will have more attraction towards the valence electrons with the result the size keeps on decreasing and that is why we come across what is lanthanide contraction similarly when we are taking the last series that is the 6d series we find that when we move from actinium to rutherfordium the 14 elements are coming in between where the f orbitals are being filled here and you find that with the unit increase in the atomic number the nuclear charge is increasing but the electrons are entering the 5f orbitals 5f orbitals are having poor shielding effect compared to the 4f orbitals so you find that the decrease in the sizes as we move from element to element in the actinide series becomes more prominent compared to that of lanthanide series now we will check what happens when we are moving down the group from scandium to yttrium the size keeps on increasing and so is the case with yttrium to lanthanum same is the case with actinium we find that when we are moving down the group the size keeps on increasing this is true for titanium to zirconium when we expect titanium to be smaller than that of zirconium it is due to the increase in the number of shells there same is true for zirconium to hafnium but actually when we check the values you find that zirconium is having an atomic size around 160 picometer and that of hafnium is 159 picometer why that it is remaining almost the same this is due to the intervention of all the 14 elements lying in between lanthanum and hafnium you find that uh, only after filling up of the f orbitals comes the position of hafnium which is off the scale in the periodic table so we have dragged the small size hafnium which is to be placed after the 14 elements lying here to a place which is just below that of zirconium so eventually what happens is zirconium and hafnium are having the similar sizes so these elements which are lying after the uh, lanthanide series they are called post lanthanide elements so zirconium hafnium niobium tantalum molybdenum tungsten technetium rhenium ruthenium osmium rhodium iridium palladium platinum silver gold cadmium mercury are always always having similar sizes and this is due to the consequence of lanthanide contraction hope it is clear similarly when we check the Uh, sixth period and the seventh period elements you find that there is a similarity you find that the similarity is due to what is called actinide contraction so you find that hafnium 
rudafodium uh, tantalum dubnium uh, tungsten seaborgium and the rest of the uh, atoms that are present there they are having a similarity in the sizes and this occurs due to what is called actinide contraction what is this actinide contraction here the position of rudafodium is actually uh, after the 14 elements that is the actinides and from the that position it has been dragged to a position in the fourth group so then it will have similar size to the previous element in the uh, previous period electronic configuration of lanthanides the starting element is lanthanum lanthanum is having the configuration xenon 4f0 5d1 6s2 so here lanthanides and actinides together they form the f block elements and the general electronic configuration is n minus 2 f1 to 14 n minus 1 d0 or 1 ns2 you find that all the elements that are coming after lanthanum in between that of lanthanum and hafnium belong to the lanthanides the starting element being cerium cerium has the configuration xenon 4f1 5d1 6s2 then praseodymium has the configuration 4f3 5d0 6s2 neodymium has the configuration 4f4 5d0 6s2 Promethium has the configuration 4F5, 5D0, 6S2. Samarium 4F6, 5D0, 6S2. Europium 4F7, 5D0, 6S1. The next element is having the peculiar configuration that is gadolinium. It is having configuration 4F7, 5D1, 6S2. The next element is Terbium with the configuration 4F9, 5D0, 6S2. Next is Dispriodymium. It has the configuration 4F10, 5D0, 6S2. Next is Holmium with the configuration 4F11, 5D0, 6S2. Next is Erbium with the configuration 4F12, 5D0, 6S2. Next is thulium with the configuration 4F13, 5D0, 6S2. Ytterbium has the configuration 4F14, 5D0, 6S2. And the last element, uh, lutetium has the configuration 4F14, 5D1, 6S2. On examining the configurations, we can come to, to the generalization that in lanthanides, it has the configuration noble gas 4F1 to 14, 5D01 and 6S2. Now on examining, you find that the F with 2 and F with 8 is absent in lanthanides. The peculiar configurations shown by the elements are for cerium, it is noble gas 4F1, 5D1, 6S2, gadolinium, noble gas 4F7, 5D1, 6S2, and lutetium, noble gas 4F14, 5D1, 6S2. Except for these three elements, other elements do not show 5D configuration with D1. Now we will see the electronic configuration of actinides. The starting element is actinium and uh, the 14 elements coming after actinium in between actinium and rudafodium starting from thorium to laurentium belong to actinides. Actinium has the configuration radon 5F0, 6D1, 7S2. Thorium has the configuration 5F0, 6D2, 7S2. Next is protactinium with the configuration 5F2, 6D1, 7S2. 
uh, uranium has the configuration 5f3 6d1 7s2 neptunium has the configuration 5f4 6d1 7s2 plutonium has the configuration 5f6 6d0 7s2 americium has the configuration 5f7 6d0 7s2 curium has the configuration uh, 5f7 6d1 7s2 Next comes berkelium with the configuration 5F9, 6D0, 7S2. Californium has the configuration 5D10, 6D0, 7S2. Einsteinium has the configuration 5F11, 6D0, 7S2. Fermium has the configuration 5F12, 6D0, 7S2. Mendelevium has the configuration 5F13, 6D0, 7S2. Nobelium has the configuration 5F14, 6D0, 7S2. And Laurentium, the final element, has the configuration 5F14, 6D1, 7S2. On examining the actinides, we find that the elements protactinium, uranium, neptunium, Curium and Laurentium are having special configurations with D1. The rest of the actinides do not show D1 configuration. On examining, we also find that the configuration with F5 and 8 are absent in actinides. All this happens because of the difference in the occupancy of F orbitals. Hope it is clear. Thank you.